Today we're talking about feeder workouts. And feeder workouts I find very important in my training. I've used them throughout the years. And uh, ever since I first mentioned them, people have been asking, sending me emails, what are feeder workouts, what are feeder workouts? And uh, I'm about to explain them to everyone who's been asking. Uh, today I'm gonna do a little arm feeder workout. Um, and basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing close grip rope push downs, supersetted with bicep cable curls to the head. And I'll be doing 100 reps a set, back and forth supersetted for three sets of each. So that's only gonna take me about five minutes. Now the theory behind this is I trained arms super hard yesterday. They're sore, lactic acid buildup. And basically doing the feeder workout the next day is gonna help push nutrients and fresh blood into the muscle, which is gonna help in the healing process. And also I believe pumping that muscle up as often as possible is training that muscle to grow and teaching that muscle to grow and constantly pushing blood, oxygen and nutrients is feeding on a constant basis. And the arms are getting pumped and pumped on a daily basis and they're just going to continue to grow. Now it's important in the feeder workout to not break down the muscle. If you break down the muscle, then you're completely going against the whole theory of the feeder workout. So all you're doing is pumping fresh nutrients into the muscle and feeding that muscle to help it grow or recuperate sooner. Kind of similar to uh, when you go get a therapeutic massage, deep tissue, you know? It's helping to heal that muscle and get blood and oxygen into it. So that's basically the theory behind the feeder workout. And honestly, I think this feeder workout thing helped me enormously throughout my career in building my arms. Uh, I always had weak arms and there was a time when for two to three years straight, I basically did a feeder workout every night before I went to bed. So every night I did skull crushers with dumbbells and hammer curls with dumbbells. And uh, I'd go to bed with a pump and it felt amazing. You know, just pump those arms up, they're burning, go in the mirror and you know, hit a couple poses and uh, hit the sack. You know, and that whole mental aspect, going to bed with a pump and you know, my brain, I'm sure, you know, when I was dreaming, I was thinking about you know, working out and so forth. And I think that just that whole aspect helped in the arms growing. And again, I did it for over two years straight, every single night, three sets of 100 reps and I just went straight to bed. I was asleep instantly. Uh, but that's me, I can fall asleep anywhere. So um, give it a try, and I guarantee you're gonna see results. You know, you're gonna feel the difference. The arms are gonna recover quicker. And also, another note, you can do it with any body part, not just arms. You can do it with legs, calves, shoulders, back, chest, any muscle. You know, the very next day after hitting a hard workout, hit a quick feeder workout before your real workout, and uh, it's just gonna help it repair itself, and it's gonna help it grow. And I know a lot of people have um, felt this when you go in the gym and you train chest the day before, and then you're gonna train back. And you go to reach up to get that lat pole bar and your chest is like, oh, it's so sore. Well, you do a little feeder workout for your chest, you're gonna get blood in there. And when you go to reach for that lat bar, your chest isn't sore anymore. You know, you got fresh blood in there, you got it stretched out, and it's also gonna help during the back. So uh, feeder workouts, amazing thing, so give them a try.